ready to kick this thing off. Um, but I, we start in the action phase, if I remember correctly, right? In the first yes, round? That exactly. That's good. It's like it's us further down the track. So at this point, replacing citizen meeples on used citizen tokens and then just taking action. So really just the second one. So before an action, you can spend uh, your call to uh, to bump that up. Hit up, hit up yes. uh, the generator. Okay. But from this starting card, you start without call. Ah, so and that's that's a difference. OK. Uh, yeah, exactly. Good to so know. Always something. Uh, Throw in a little bit of a wrench. I, I really don't don't remember which starting card you have, but uh... so I think I need some coal. <laughs> that could be important. Um, so I think of I course might... you can build. This is uh, this is uh, build action. This is the uh, new tile action. Uh, they change uh, how they look, but works exactly the same. Uh, and of course, when you build, you don't. Uh, it's always heated action, so you don't need any coal to do that. So you can. You can start with that uh, if you want. This is, or I could clear first. So if I clear first, I could actually clear these spots over here and then put a gathering post down to yeah, gather more can, resources, correct? Yes, you can, uh, or, uh, but you can choose to take two uh, closest range uh, right. tiles. So yes. The, uh, this one, uh, or one. Uh, okay, so best I can get out of that situation is just putting one tile down and grabbing resources from three yeah, tiles one, around me. One here and one yep. here, if you want. Yeah. If I wanted to, yeah. Yes, exactly. I, I think I'll do that. Let's let's clear some snow. So if I'm going to do that, do I just drop a worker down this location just to signify that? Yeah. Or, okay. Exactly. And, and then, one guy goes sick because this is always cold. Yes. Yeah, yes. So down here on the track. So where is that sickness? This does this move right away to this position? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the A tiles, correct? Yeah, this is A tiles. Okay, so we'll drop one right there, and we'll drop the other one right here. And at this point, I can flip them, right? Yeah, exactly. After after putting them, and I will place all okay. resources. It will be so I got some resources, here. which is good. Okay. Yeah, quite quite nice. That's not bad. And does it have to be an engineer can do? I forget the restriction between the workers. Workers can do almost it can do almost everything. The engineer can do an extra thing that the yeah, workers can't. Engineer can. Uh, there are some buildings like workshop, factory, med post that uh, with the icon in the left. That's right. Uh, That's right. Ringing a bell left now. Down corner. Yeah. Okay. And this is the only uh, only uh, thing that is restricted for workers. But of course, workers can build that buildings. Sounds good. So I'll put a worker there and we'll grab the gathering post, put it right here. <laughs> Probably won't sit perfectly. You have still two uh two more buildings. Two more actually, builds. Because... True enough. Let's do the uh let's do the tent. I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um so I'll put the tent always right there. Just like using the shadow as a guide. <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay. So that's that, and I guess so. That sorry, that was my second action from the build, and then I've yeah. got. I could do one more wood. after that. That's right, two wood. Yes. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I didn't pay for it. Yeah, let's do the hunter's hut. Let's do that. I'll put it over here. I'm trying to keep these as close to the building as possible for now, at least. Okay. Um. So and that this, wood is this gone. Is the last wood. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I'll place a risker there, so I can. So I get to take a single wood. I guess at this point I can take them. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so single wood, coal, another coal, and tough coal. Let's both. go. Both. You oh, I actually get, both. Oh, because they're two yeah. different spaces. Oh, exactly. very, very nice. And the trees I can't take because they haven't been <laughs> yeah. converted to wood, obviously. Can't and rip them out of the ground. Here. Oh, that's right. That one over there, too. Yeah, that, that was wasn't a, bad. A good place. Yeah. That's true. That and one, okay. one worker gets sick because of that. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll bump ourselves up the track. Okay. Done deal. So let's pay the one to get the generator going, default cost. And then let me think about this. If I go all the way to here, it would certainly give me that gives me the entire board at that point, correct? Yes. I agree. Yes. So I don't necessarily need to pump it up to that hot right away. Does this uh no this problem. sickness needle to the left here of this uh second position one, is this going to trigger? 
for sickness? Uh, the last one uh, in the uh, generator phase, the last token shows you what is uh, triggered on all, mm. all uh, close to that and below, but hit token protect from that. So if you put a hit token here, nothing uh, nothing, nothing happens. Bad happens. Okay, let's let's just let's just go all the way. Okay, okay. so you put the free free call and uh, move that. This thing goes all the way up. Let's do it while we can. Well, we've already got the heat up. We might as well grab it. So, yeah, that's true. Have the steam core. So, if so, I put a worker down in any of these locations, how this works is I again, if I remember, it's one wood, one coal, essentially. Uh, right no, you choose one space, only one, space. one of the two okay. spaces, and take two of that resource. Uh, so you can take two, one okay. wood or two coals. Let's okay. Let's do that, and I'm gonna take. Yeah, this is okay. We'll take two coals. Two cool okay. pieces. So he should be here. Yeah. Okay. Space. Okay, on that space. All right. Yeah, and remember, you can use automaton. Uh, it just costs you one call to use it, but uh, he don't need any food. He don't uh, get sick and so on. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so if I do that, we'll spend the one coal. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get him out to this area, but I'm gonna take a B tile, I guess, this time, yes. right? So we'll take this one right here. I'm doing this on purpose so I can gather resources from yeah, as many yeah, yeah, spots as I can. Oh, and as you see, hey, look at that. A steam core. So okay. you will get this one from the gathering post next round. And um, how do I obtain these laws again? Do I have to use a worker in order to do that? Uh, there is a building here. The platform is a building to oh, introduce right. new law. Right. Yeah, it needs okay. engineer and let you introduce uh, any of the laws. You can have up to four laws during the game. Uh, okay. Which is important. I might yes. actually go after the child labor one, to be honest, just <laughs> just to get those children that I have in my worker pool <laughs> moving. <laughs> um, this is this is funny because uh, lots of gamers do that because hmm, I have two unused meeples. Well, yeah, it's just kind of like <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, exactly. I will put my worker out here so I can nab the steam core. Um, mm. So I get it while it's, while it's not going to result in me okay. being and sick. He, he's, uh, of course, there. Wait, I'll put the engineer over here and we'll go after one of those laws. So we're going to the platform. The yes, right one? Exactly. Yeah. And then we'll grab the yeah. child labor card. Re just remember, child labor is quite a uh, hard low for your... Uh, hope and discontent because as you see here on trade labor card it's yeah minus one hope and plus one discontent so it is risky in the first rounds to do that low to go that because, low. <laughs> yeah because <laughs> risk you know, is you fun have only you have only three <laughs> hopes so yeah it can be so it can be punishing probably you will survive yeah so if i reach the fifth uh token coming across no matter what it is uh then i lose the game yeah, um, exactly. And or discontent here, kind of overruns us. The last one on the hope. Right. So I'm even kind of in. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, and in, in order to get hope back, uh, being that I've you know got a card that is going to negatively affect me over time, is there something that kind of offsets that or can help to offset that? Uh, this is uh, the way you can. Uh, uh, oh, I gain see. Hope or uh, reduce this content, and of course you can choose uh, laws that uh, let you. Uh, bring some some hope here or here care house for example or uh heated meals there oh i see lots of lows that uh, have so i still to... have to use that one place i'm already on which i can only use once in a given round i'm assuming correct the platform yes, it's okay. it's one per round yeah, okay exactly that's good to know i'll keep that in mind but yes i can see what you mean by it being risky because i'm immediately putting myself in a little bit of trouble there um yeah okay so do you want to do that or yeah, I'll I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I think next okay. turn I'll focus on on making sure I get a card yeah. that offsets that. Um, so, so then we place it here, uh, and what what happens? Uh, you have to reduce your hope, and yes. you can choose to uh, exhaust that uh, active token or uh, just rid of that uh, inactive. Token. I'll I'll leave the so, get rid of the inactive one. I just put it back in the bag. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Kay. And now you have to add one discontent. And also you can activate that apathy or add new token inactive. I think I'll probably activate this one. I think 
That could be a bad okay. call. I'm tempted to put the third one in there uh, inactive, but we'll go with that. And last thing, after introducing a low, you have to shuffle that two cards. Okay. Uh, and uh, choose one and place it on the dusk deck. Okay, so I just grab one off the top and throw it in this deck. Okay. Okay. And child shelter for you is uh, is no longer an option. Or it lets you only use wo- gathering posts and in gathering posts or resource oh, piles. Oh, okay. So resource piles are fine. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, maybe I will grab coal because I want to make sure I've got as much coal as I can grab next turn, and then I'll probably do the same. I might even just two go two of them. Two of them. Oh, that's right. Two. two. That's what's yeah, right. Me. Yes, yeah. two of them. Yeah, and then I'll go and grab. Now we got singles everywhere, um, except no, for the coal you have here. here and here. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for some wood. Get some building options available too. Okay. Okay. Um, so this was yeah. this was the action phase, and we can go uh, further. It's uh, up to the dusk phase. That's right. So Draw and resolve a dusk card. From here. Yeah. Okay. Drop it here. Yeah, and let's check if you. Ah, oh, oh. not bad. The inevitable. Every day we fight a bitter struggle against hunger, cold, and diseases. There will be losses. So we have no gravely ill citizens. That's good. One citizen yes. gets sick for every body token you have. So I'm, yeah, that's a good one to pull right now. Yeah, you have only have to one body it. token because mm. we, you start with one. So uh, you have to add one sick citizen. It's your choice, which one? Right. Um, let's go with the child. Okay. <laughs> See what I, what you are doing here. <laughs> okay. So for the next phase is uh, hunger phase. Okay. And uh, we should go there. I just want to let everyone or... know that I do have two kids. <laughs> I love them dearly. <laughs> uh, okay. So now uh, here uh, you have no hunger uh, yet. So it's it's good. You don't have to uh, feed hungry people. But in the first round, uh, as you can see, you have to feed children because each round there is different type of citizen you have to feed. Right. Yeah? And first round is uh, children. So just check how many children you have. Okay, so I got two. Uh, no, no, children, not the meeples. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, uh, the oh, in total, in the in the uh, yeah, yeah, in the actual workforce. Okay, so yeah, nine, I guess. So it's nine. You have eight food. Mm-hmm. That means uh, you reduce food to zero and have to add one hunger on that track below. Yeah, okay. because like one that. one child is hungry. Okay. Uh, after that, and this was the hunger f- hunger phase, and now we go to uh, night phase. So putting back uh, meeples here on your supply board. So now you have to shelter the people. You have two places in your tent and uh, this is a heated place. So you can put two meeples there. And in terms of which meeples I pick, what is the advantage to picking certain meeples here? uh, Because each meeple you uh, don't shelter that face will get sick. Makes sense. So you're kind of like, you know, okay, so I might want to have a couple engineers, maybe being that they're not the most sick yet, stick it out. But I'm going to have a lot of them stick it out. Uh, this is going to be fun. So let's put, let's for now, let's just put two. Yeah, let's do two workers there. Okay. And yeah, we'll leave the rest and out. And that's all. So you have to add two sick ch- uh, children. Okay, I'll just move this hunger token a little bit. Yeah, it should be uh, should pick up the lower one. There we go. About it, yeah. Okay. Two workers. Two workers to four. And three engineers. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that was the uh, night phase. This guy, of course, uh, get back. That's uh, right. Yes. Supply because you will. Uh, you can use them. Uh, next round and now we go to the uh new round to the down phase down phase is is very easy just to move that marker and if any uh if you don't have any scenario marker on the same place it's okay okay uh, good to go this is only the reminder of 
this this of, card because of the main yeah, card okay yeah people wants to want you to build a beacon and you have to do this before round four if you uh don't uh don't want to be punished uh, yes i'm gonna make sure i get that beacon this. going <laughs> yeah okay so now morning phase morning okay. phase means this deck one card oh refugees so refugees so we gain a justice yeah that's and is that a, that's nice, from the but... hope track correct or no yes this is for the for the hope track so do I need if to you pull? want because you uh, you decide uh, mm, if you yes, want true. to let them enter or send them away. Oh right. Oh geez. Yeah. Because I, this I have is to. nice, but I, you have to add I kind of have to I think I have to here just because the exhaustion of any hope puts me in a really scary situation, I'm assuming, because the next move after that is a loss. <laughs> Right, that, so that's that's pretty close that's to. That's true. Probably, probably it's better to uh, to let them enter, but of course, uh, yeah, exhausting the motivation is very close. Uh, that to is it. tough yeah. too, because we're getting so many workers and engineers, so I can see the downside of all this and the children, because it's like now you got to like deal with all the sickness that you re results from not having enough shelters. Yeah, unless I know, make that a focus. Is, this is quite uh, thematic in different way. Uh, yeah. Also, because if you're people are greed then they are very unhappy if you let people come to uh, to your settlement as oh, you see right. if you have active yes. greed then yes. plus one is content you don't have greed so Thank that's goodness. that's good but uh, but yeah you can you can choose first option of course i think i have to go to option 1 i think that makes okay. more sense so first you draw one uh, one hope token and after drawing, you check if that... any inactive token from uh, your track uh, is hope, because uh, you have plus one justice. Right. Uh, sorry, is justice. So you check if you have an inactive justice after that, and if it is, as you see it is, mm -hmm. you can activate that uh, justice okay. in addition to that. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. That's something better than just plus one hope. Yeah. It's right. It's giving you something that's things. active from the get-go. Yeah. Yeah, That's going to be yeah, exactly. valuable. And after that, we add four workers, two engineers, and one children. Wow. That's okay. going to... Yeah, so just move the uh, tokens. It's uh, yes. oh. four to one. So four workers, you said? Two, three, yeah, four, four workers, two engineers, and one child. Done deal. Okay, and after, after that, you also have to add five hunger. Because yes, some of the people are quite hungry. The hungry is going up to, or the hunger is going up to six. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And was that actually? You... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ask a question. It was sitting on the one position. Was that right, or was it supposed to be on zero? No. In, oh, that's in from the sick position, children earlier. Yeah, that's right. You, that's you right. You don't. Yes. Uh, you don't feed all the children. So that's right. Was one hungry. Uh, person. Okay, and that's it because you don't have any active grid and you don't have any active care so uh -huh. you can go, go on. Uh, and now is generator phase. So this board below, first you have to check the sick uh -huh. uh, yep. and uh, nothing happens because uh, your heat token is uh, high enough to protect you from that. Thank goodness. Second, <laughs> Yeah. Second thing, you have to add two uh, two malfunction cubes to that generator back, and this is uh, normally in physical game it will be uh, you know something like cube tower. The generator tower will be putting cubes into it, and some of them will fall out, like in Shogun on Amerigo. Right, and just but for here, clarity, the two that it tr the two is triggering because of where my actual token yes, for the yes, exactly. generator this is. This is because uh, of uh, your token, not the uh, weather token. Makes sense. Okay. And after that, roll to uh, the eight dice to check what falls out. You can uh, press R to yeah. Let's do that. Roll. Be a little cleaner. Okay, so it's it's, uh, you choose uh, lower one, so it's five, and you have to put five cubes from that back to your track. Of course, there were only two, because only two <laughs> you uh, put in. That's true. 
Nothing else. And now uh, clear the uh, clear the generator. Yeah, it goes here, okay. and that was generate generator phase. Now Done deal. it's weather phase. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can put it uh, here below that. And what we uh, have here, a uh, storm. Storm is not moving. That's good, uh, good That's news. That's good, yeah. Bad news, you have to uh, move each of these uh, tokens one space up. One. Uh, up. Oh, mm -hmm. fun. Okay. And after that, we check how many hunter's hat you have on the board. I think you uh, have one hunter's hat here. And that uh, means you get two food. Yeah, the, the first. Uh, okay. Guy. So I actually get some food. Yes. That's nice. So I'll bump the food up to two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. And the last part is expedition, but you have no scouts yet. So, right. Uh, now Nothing we there. Can ignore that. And now we are going to preparation phase. You check, uh, you check what is uh, above each token in that mm -hmm. section, and you, of course, resolve each token separately. So this means move one on that uh, track. So uh, all, of your, all of your tokens are here on the first section for now. Right. So it means each of these tokens move once forward. Okay, so it's essentially... Yeah, and like as that. you see, this token uh, enter the second uh, section which that's means right. if if uh, it will be here next round it means move it and flip it mm -hmm. and this is how you get deadly ill people right yeah don't but like this that was, <laughs> this was sickness tokens the last thing in preparation phase if is to update your meeples uh, according to the number of uh, your citizens so you check, you have uh, three child meeper, three engi engineers and four workers. So you have to add one child because you uh, uh, new people enter your city. And this right. is the phase you check it. Okay. Yeah, and this is all, this is update uh, of, uh, that makes sense. of your meeples. And now you can go to action phase. I think what I'll do, because I know I can grab two, is I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab two coal right now. Yeah, but probably before you want to start the generator, because... Oh, the generator now, has to be started first? Oh, fair enough, that's right, just in yeah, terms of... Uh, yes, 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 yeah. sorry. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's use the... And I didn't... So I didn't really have these two. So we'll use one to get the generator going. Yeah, and this means all red buildings are uh, heated. Do I have and to put it down want... here? Is that correct, or, or no? Yes, or do I just yes, leave? exactly. Okay. okay. And if you want to hit that place, you need to add one more call because this is the next, yeah. next and, space. Yeah. And I plan to, I, pl I might as well just put them all in, these three anyway, because I know I'll get to yeah. this level first. That's true. That makes sense. I see what you're saying. I was kind of jumping the gun there and okay. throwing the worker in beforehand. <laughs> so worker's in, he grabs these two. Yep. That child picks those two up. And then we'll use one of them right away to bump this up on the level. Okay. We're all the way up. And now I'm going to use one other. I'll use the auto button. Right. And I'm going to clear some snow. And I will do yeah. a. I guess it's you a. You have to B pay tile. one call because the auto button. True. And I'll do the B tile. Is that the one that's on the outskirts? Yes. 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 The B okay. are the. Outside track. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Circle. Exactly. Oh, there we okay. go. Okay. That worked out really well. That's oh, gonna yeah, work. That's when I get true. a gathering outpost in there, that's gonna be one good grab. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it will work similarly to that gathering post. So this is true. Okay, well yeah. in that case, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And I'm gonna nab wood, coal, another coal, and another coal, and two wood more because this one and this one also. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a lot of resources. Yeah. <laughs> that worked out really. This well. was this was good grab. This is good. Yeah, I, I planned well for the gathering side of things. Yes, just like we did last time. And I think I'm going to focus on getting some more um, tents as well as that beacon going, just so that I don't have so many people getting sick so fast because I have a lot of workers. <laughs> 
Um, with this, so the beacon is a neutral color, so it doesn't. It can be anywhere, right? Yes, because so I uh, could. It never... would be strategically make a lot more sense to put it up here, I guess. Yeah, here or further here away it depends. But yeah. yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna cost me what two? Oh, two wood. Uh, three. Three, okay. This, oh yes, yeah, sorry. I'm looking at the section, two wood yeah. below that. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not good place. We we put that, but there was okay. And then if I points. want to use it right away, I can just put a worker on it if I wanted to to activate no, it. When you when you build a beacon, uh, it means you add two expedition cards, and you never go to beacon because you go to the directly to the card to the first space. Yeah. Okay. And then in terms of who can go to that space, can it be a worker only or? Uh, worker or engineer, of course, not a child. Okay. It's not a good idea to send a child to the no, first one. No, I, I agree. So it's the first space, which is here, or is it uh, the bottom? No, the the starting space. Starting is... space. Okay. Yeah. So I will do that. Get that underway, and I can have it max only one person going on an expedition. Only one. Only one now. Yeah, but uh, after okay. upgrading a beacon uh, on the other side, Shift and Alt will help you to see the other side of token. Uh, uh yes yeah, yes i see it now two, gotcha uh, two ongoing expeditions so all right so what else could i okay so that was one build action there um yeah. and technically and i you... guess i guess technically i broke the the flow because i kind of put my worker there early is that true yeah that's true <laughs> okay i'm gonna do that anyway so that's just a note for everybody but i'm gonna do my two other build actions here um do you pay for the uh beacon? i did yes i put the two wood uh off the side there yeah one okay. more because hope that i yeah, I hope yeah that I total wood that fully. I, okay. I count total so perfect so the hunter uh, the hunter's hide is good the tent is also good i think i need both of those really so yeah, in this game, good is not uh, exactly the word you need. It's, <laughs> it's needed, not needed. Good, it's yeah, needed. sorry, that's true. Okay, so let's pay two. Let's pay two wood for my second build action, and we'll mm -hmm. build a tent, and we'll drop it right here. Okay. Yeah. Um. Actually, you know what? To not clog. Well, maybe it doesn't. I guess to not clog up a spot that has two, I'll do it like okay. this for now. Um. Just in case I want to build anything bigger. Um, yeah. And then for my, I'll definitely do a hunter's hut for the last build action to get some more okay. food going. Drop that here. Yeah. And. Okay. And I take that wood. Too. Yes, that wood is gone. So those are all my build actions. Um, I still yes. have quite a bit of coal for next turn, which is good. I got some steam cores I can use. The factory lets you use steam core to uh, upgrade big buildings. So, for example, beacon. Okay. Or to build a new automaton. Right. And uh, in the workshop, it's uh, spent Steam Core to upgrade small building, or without spending a Steam Core, unlock uh, four or five uh, building tier and activate one of the technology. I think I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and do... I think I might focus on the factory first with those Steam Cores. Let's do a build action, because it seems like it's worthwhile based on what I got going here, so... Um, and the first thing I'll do is that uh, factory for two, if I'm looking at that correctly. So that'll take my two yeah. wood away. Get this. I'm going to place this probably here. This is a red build building, so it's quite safe to place it. Uh, oh, that's right, because uh, the red ones yeah. are, yes. It's yes. very easy to, okay. uh, to hit that. All right. So, and then in order to actually, okay. So, build action wise, though, I've obviously I can only do one real action of building here because I only had so much wood. Um, yeah. so that worker was not fully utilized, <laughs> but but it is what it is. Yeah. There we go. So I will spend a steam core, yeah, in order to gain. I'm assuming I grab it for one of these bags. Uh, the, this one's okay. The last one. Add it into this pile here. That's Let's bring the that. child to this location here. Okay. We'll, we'll take these two. Let's see if I can snag enough wood to make this worthwhile. And then I know food is an issue too, so I don't want to forget about that. Yeah. So let's get a couple. Let's get at least. Well, I guess I'll use the. 
this individual on the hunter's hut, I guess. Okay. We'll get some food going because I don't I don't want to, I don't want that to lag behind. That would be bad. So you're up to seven from two yeah, to seven. Exactly. And you have um, to spend one call because you use automat. Yeah. Yes, true enough. That's one thing I keep forgetting. Like I don't even think about that coal piece. Um, let's do I kinda tempted to grab another thing of food, but as of right now, my food is above my hunger level. So does that mean yes. essentially so I'm okay not, going into the it's next? It's not bad. You you will not get any punish that that turn. But of course, as you can see, that turn you will need also thirteen food, and the next turn it will be twenty one. So it's it's better to be prepared for that. Yeah, I think so too. I think I got some extra workers, so we might as well make use of these hunters' huts while we got them. So yeah, let's go for another five. So let's go from seven to twelve. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I think I've only got the two, right? Yeah. 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 So tense wise, I've got enough for four people. I could do a building action, but the only thing I could do is, uh, I could build a final set of tents. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Crazier things have been done, I guess. So. Tent here, I guess. Okay. okay. This is the there we go. One. All right, so that is the third tent I've got set up there. I should then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go crazy and build all kinds of tents. <laughs> okay. No sickness allowed in our place. Okay, so those are gone. All right. I like that. That was pretty good. That I, I feel like that round went all right. The couple of the build actions there, I didn't make full use of the way I probably should have. But if I had uh, ordered it differently, it would have oh, been pretty efficient. So let's see how it uh, how it works. Uh, now we go to the dusk phase. So... Okay. Uh, here for the new desk card. Let's see. Uh, I think I took. One. Did I take the whole deck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah take you, the take, deck. you take two of them. There we go. Just one this time. Okay, so this is social dispute. So morality of our citizens influences the situation in the city. If you have more active hope tokens than active discant, uh, sorry, discontent, uh, choose one. So I do. Oh no, I don't. I'm equal. No yes. rats. You are equal, and equal means that's not very good. That's because not good at all. You see, otherwise, this is this oh, is the part geez. you're interested in. Yeah. Turn to chose. So this is where I should have back before when I chose to activate this one. I was like, mm, yeah, I should put that you, third one that was disactivated. One, yeah. Oh, rats! Yeah. I knew that was going to come back to bite me. Uh, okay, so uh, turn to chosen sickness tokens. Oh, geez, that's really bad. Or remove two wood, two coal. Oh, sorry, is that wood or coal? Or... Uh, yeah, this is this is or you choose one okay. from uh, three. I could handle that though, so I might do that rather than turning sickness tokens over. So you you can turn two sickness token. You can remove two wood or coal from your supply, or you can add two malfunction cubes to generate or try. I think I'm gonna let the coal go. It's a little scary because I don't have tons of coal on the board, but I think I have enough on the board that I can make it work next turn still. Okay, so Let's... this was uh, this was the social dispute card, and as okay. I said uh, before, uh, the last part of each social dispute card. Uh, Move it from the game. Exactly. So this card goes out, okay. but you reshuffle all this card and you add new social dispute card. And if you want, you can read before. If your hope is one. Plus, add one discontent. If your hope is from two to three, nothing happens. If you if your hope is four or more, the active are discontent tokens. Uh, the tokens. So uh, the plus one is the effect, but you check your hope level. It can be one, two, or three, or four, and more. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and reshuffle that uh, deck. Also, flipping and reshuffling the deck. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And that was dusk. All right. Now we go to hunger phase. Hunger. What do we got here? So we are on six for hunger. Yeah. So you need to spend six foot at first. So we'll drop her down to six. Yeah. And it means your hunger goes to zero because you spend one foot for each hunger uh, you have. And now you have to feed engineers. Mm, engineers are what 13 fun so i can only feed them up to six yeah 
So and I'm you lacking add one hunger for each lacking food. So seven. Yeah. I Yikes. <laughs> Good thing I got the food when be... I did. <laughs> you know, next round will be uh, more problematic. I'm going to need some case. serious hunger. Yeah, food is going to be a big time thing. Yeah. Okay, let's night go to night face. So you put every meeple here. I okay. Mean. So everything's coming back. Yeah. And then this guy stays on the card because he's on an expedition. Yeah, exactly. He's on the expedition. Perfect. And okay. that's all I think. Yeah. All right. So let's check how many shelters uh, are here. I believe I have six board. bases available. Eight. Eight, actually. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's right. I got the extra one out. That's right. It's eight. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So one, so two, three. So it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all, really. Yeah, so choose only one uh one who gets six. You don't have to yeah, place let's, them on the Let's just do um let's just move the let's go with the engineer. Okay. Yeah. Uh and that was the night phase. So it means that it ends second round and we can go to the uh move that marker. Yeah. This is the first phase, nothing more happens, and now go to morning phase. All right, morning phase. Some of our teenagers proved to be very capable of learning. We could afford spending some time to train them into effective workforce and engineers to teach them. This is going to events display and place one challenge near Meeple on this card. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you basically turn a child in, uh, child in Meeple on this Yes, it can change That's really one cool. of your child like meeple that. to the yeah. uh, engineer meeples. Of course, uh, you don't know when it happens because uh, there, will, there will be a card in your dusk deck right. uh, that will be responsible for that. And you have to use one in engineer to learn them. Or you can do the same with workers. Or you can just say that's that it's not a good idea no i think it's a good idea <laughs> let's let's go worker let's go the worker route okay, so first you place that card on the display and this place always around around the, here oh around yes the board so okay. here will be yeah gotcha. and now pl uh, place one child in engineer meeple this is the special special child meeples with the oh, blue color you i didn't even know those inside. existed <laughs> yes ah cool uh, yeah, and after that, uh, you have to add uh, D045 card to the dust, dust deck. deck. Oh. Okay, uh, so that was morning, and now we are going to uh, we are going to the next uh, next phase, and this is generator phase. Generator phase. All right. First of all, sickness. Yes, and as of right now, but, yeah, nothing. everything is uh, everything is cool. Now add three to the generator back. And roll okay. the dice. Okay, lower is one. One, so one only sounds one. nice. Exactly. And uh, reset the, the token. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, weather card. Storm is still not coming uh, for you, so. That's good happens news. happens here, and here you have to move all the tokens one space forward one space up yeah so the getting a little bit more going worse and now check how many hunters hat you have i think it's two two That's... i believe yeah i think you're right yes yeah so it means you get four foot the second part four food. take anything i can get on the food spectrum <laughs> based That's on what's true. gonna and happen the last... in the future <laughs> Uh, yeah, you expedition. Hey, look at that! Oh, so close to finishing one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so close. Twice. Yes, exactly. Okay, but he still don't need any shelter, so it's That's not a bad. That's true. That's true. Back. Yeah, he's busy doing something else. <laughs> exactly. And now a preparation phase. So resolving the sick tokens and uh, and updating meeples. Let's go to resolving sick tokens. Okay. As you see, these two tokens are in that in that part. Yes, it means you each of them uh, goes. Uh, yeah, you should flip it and move forward one space. Okay, so I'll move this here, flip it over, move this here, exactly flip it over. The same. Yeah, 
and this only this one only moves one space one because space. it was in the uh, previous section. That's right. Okay. Nothing. Perfect. Nothing changed in your meeples because nobody came to your uh, settlement and nobody dies. That's right. Good, uh, good news. That's so plus. we can go to the action phase. All right. So, food is a thing. <laughs> food is a thing. So food hunt- is a thing. Coal yeah. is a thing. Looking it, at it, it definitely supply. is. Yeah, that's going to be a massive <laughs> yeah. problem. Okay, so I can't start. So here's the thing: if I can't start, the, I can technically start the generator anytime during the action phase. But yes. there's hindrances to doing things when the generator is not fully uh, revving up. Exactly, exactly. You so, want to start it as fast as possible, but sometimes yikes. it's just lack of coal. So if I was to do the so the coal thumper. If I was to build, I mean, right now I don't have the resources. I'm just curious, but like, if the yeah. coal thumper is built, does it just generate two coal? Uh, coal thumper uh, makes two things. First of all, when you send uh, meeple on it, uh, mm-hmm. it brings two coal. So, like sending on coal pile. Okay. The second thing, if the coal thumper is close to gathering post, you will get uh, two additional coal from uh, that gathering post if the coal tamper is close close to it. Uh, okay, good so to know. two function uh, of that. You have to put one worker because this is the guy who learned the children, yeah, if you remember that. Yes, so one worker sits on that oh, token. You choose, yeah, Busy, you choose busier now. Yeah, exactly. So if I put if put somebody out here, depending on what worker I put out here to gather some coal, it's that's the type that's going to get sick, right? Yeah, Correct. So the child plus would get one, uh, plus one sickness. Six. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have exactly. to probably suck that up um, to do that. So let's go down the children down here and move them one space up the track. Exactly. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead, and the default value of the generator is still at one. Does that ever change? I forget when that actually starts bumping up. Uh, yeah, it it will uh, pumps up when the generator uh, gets to first breakdown, and uh, uh, that's uh, right. Each time storm hits your settlement, it it also okay. Uh, that's what I and I've been lucky because I haven't had the storm hit yet. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Makes sense. Um, okay, so I've moved the generator up to the first position. So. That gives me nothing. Still, yeah, <laughs> except still, for the... still only red buildings are. Yikes. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe new tile and maybe something else. Let's do that. Let's go. Um, and I can't clear snow with a, with a child, correct? No. Yeah. No, so not <laughs> you're not that. <laughs> not good. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do two uh, A yeah, tiles. Place, place him here. Yes. Sorry. That was sorry. And they get sick immediately, right? That's a worker that yes. gets. So where's my workers here? Buried underneath yeah, all my other. Some sick worker. Okay. I'll let you. It. I'll let yeah. you handle that one. Thank you. And I'm trying to think. Let's do. Let's what is, do. What, what can be interesting, remember that here in the walls you have deposits. So if you That's true. get it, if you get there, you can build the coal mine after uh, removing that uh, that token from here. And it's it gives you lots of coal and uh, right. it's infinitive. Uh, so it's not a bad idea. Okay, so flip them over. Yeah. Resources all over the place. Oh, and coal and more coal. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Really not bad. This is what you are looking for. This is what I wanted, yeah. If I use a worker and we push in my worker. Yeah, let's do the workers. This is kind of bad. I don't like this, but I'm gonna do what we can do. So snag some coal. Okay. Knocking yeah. knocking my worker over <laughs> out of position. And uh, yeah. I'll spend he still that coal. Gets sick, but you you move him. Yeah. So both of these coal to get this thing up to here. All right. So now we're good everywhere in the core area here now, which is better. Um, That's true. Do you move that worker on the sickness track? Uh, because, I yeah. You I think you don't. Did because, yeah, not. I, I yeah. I get. Should you. I move that up one? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So because this was eight. the this was the cold. It place was still cold. Before. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now it's okay. The cookhouse gives you. You had to spend for. Oh, that'll let you change your yes, hope exactly. situation. You spend oh food wow, to that's bring that's some hope or you know reduce this content. Okay, well for now great, I definitely great idea, but not if you don't have food. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. <laughs> yeah, the engineers are yeah. gonna go hunting. 
Um, so I'll go. I'm safe on both um, those spots, yeah. so I can bump myself so up. This is to, ten foot. Get ourselves up to fourteen. Gotta get as high as we possibly can on that thing, Thanks, guys. So let's grab. Let's use a child to gather resources somewhere where it's safe. If I can get two coal, only makes sense to go here. Even though I'm knocking stuff over. <laughs> This is why it's a lot easier he, when it's on the table, standing. hey? <laughs> yeah. Drop. Yeah, that's true. That part is so easier in to So let's take this and we'll plop it right here. Snow removal. Okay, steam okay. core. That's not exactly what I was looking for, but it will still get me closer to that coal. So now once I'm linked up like this, how does how do I gain access to the coal? I have to clear this space right here, and then I can build the coal mine there essentially is the idea. You need to uh, first unlock this tier. So yes. you have to uh, build workshop, send, engineer, and then choose which one you want to unlock. So this is the first thing you, you have to uh, do. You can build on the Steam Core. It's not, uh, oh, not I got a problem. You. Yeah, you always uh, can do that. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I gotta get some wood generation going here for sure. So let's focus on. I might have to gather a couple pieces of wood very inefficiently <laughs> in order to get to a point where I can build one. Um, so I'm going to use a child here to gather. Oh, this is actually, oh, that's really good for, but it's far away. This is probably a safer bet, I think. Yeah. This so is let's do that. Place, so yeah. Yeah. So let's do that. That gives me one. I just need one more. And if I was going to clear another spot, uh, I could spend the coal. Or I could send the engineer. I'll probably send the engineer. You can. You can already go and build something for two wood because you can dismantle this gathering post. Probably that's true because I don't. Oh, yeah. that's a really good point. I ever, this is the first time I've ever really thought about that. It, there's no use for that anymore, right? So yeah, this is quite important action to dismantle in uh, proper time. Uh, game so okay so if i go ahead right now and dismantle this one the gathering post yeah do i just take this off you, the board and get the resources yeah, for you it? yeah you take this uh, off the board and you always get one wood for dismantling uh, a building no matter uh, okay. which was the cost yeah but you of course have to do this uh, as a building as, action. As a building this will action. Be okay. One of one of the three actions. Perfect. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll take this away. That gain of wood. Exactly. Okay. And then I will go ahead and spend those two wood <laughs> immediately to build a sawmill. And I will place it. Uh, I guess in this case, because I use the child at yes. this location. Oh, yes. oh, oh, that's part of the fun. The sawmill okay. is orange building, so it's not very hard to... Uh, to get that uh, level of heat going yeah, to that. That's true. Because yeah, it's, a, it's the bottom rung, right? Of this three... Uh, now? Uh, yes. Uh, orange orange means uh, is active when you are up. Up to uh, one, this level, one place up. Okay. Yeah, and that's not that's not too bad. I mean, it keeps climbing as we go, but it's still the first. It's still not as yes. bad to reach. Okay, and then uh, I could do one more action if I wanted to. I also could decide not to and hold on to the coal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which yeah, I'm, you can. I think I'm gonna probably do that. I think I'm not gonna bother doing the last action. I want to keep the coal for the generator next turn because I feel like it's gonna be a little costly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> With my lack okay. of coal. So let's go to the dusk phase. Okay. Let's see how this pans out. Successful education. There you go. Yeah. Change one of your channel peoples to a worker engineer. So at this point, I just put this worker back, basically. and Yes, exactly. So this worker goes to your uh, uh, supply. Okay. And uh, uh, in the update phase, uh, in the night phase, you just uh, remove one child meeple. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, and, and you then... discard uh, this one, and of course discard. Okay. Yeah, so put so them, they get discarded over put, here. Put both of them, both of them here, and that's all. That was the dusk phase, and it was good for you. Yep, that worked out nice. Uh, so let's go hunger phase. It will be not so good, but <laughs> maybe not so bad. <laughs> First hunger token. All right, so we're at a total of what is it? Seven hunger. Uh, seven, yes, yeah. So have... dropping from so down to f seven here to deal with that. Okay. 
And then we yeah. now have to deal with the workers that are hungry. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's real fun. So I can only do seven. Yes. So I'm taking a hit of 14. 14 more. Ouch. Yep. Okay. Hungry group. Yeah, the, the, good, uh, the good news is that the next turn again. Yes, it goes turn. back. That's true. So, it's just, so I got to get ready for that again. Okay. Yeah, and now we go to the night phase. All right, night phase. So everything goes back, and this is where the child fate or the child yeah. here will disappear, right? Okay, so let's put it back in the bag, kind of thing. Try make it uh, quite easy if we talking about different actions because truly you have five actions: building, uh, snow removal, expedition, taking uh, resources. And buildings itself. So truly, right. the buildings is the place when we hide lots, lots of different uh, action. <laughs> okay, so one, one thing more. This guy also go back to you, Comes and back. you uh, remove that token because uh, you know he learned somebody and uh, he's done. Now he can come back to work. And Perfect. now you have to place people into the tents because yes, and what are we still eight places. Still eight, yeah. So one, two, three. So it's just the one will be sticking out right yes, at the end. So exactly. as normal, and then I don't want to pump the child sickness up any further because because yeah. once they hit that level, it's bad. So I'm probably gonna do the worker. Okay. It's dangerous though. <laughs> A little. little. Okay, so that was that was the night phase, and you are in round four. Great. There we go. Yeah, and now this token, uh, the scenario one, reminds you about some uh, card here. So perfect. So are we alone? Num uh, numerous citizens think that we should explore the area around the city and look for other survivors for our convoy. Place an event trigger token on the fourth and ten. So this is what we already did, I guess, right? To set yes, up the game. Exactly. And then at the start of the fourth round, which is right now, if there is a beacon built in the city, go to A, which there is. So we did it. We get minus one disc in town or plus one hope. And then we turn a scenario two card, which is hidden right now, I'm assuming. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I am. Ooh, what do I do here? Uh, minus one discontent town sounds nice. And I can choose which of these two discontent go? Yes, yes. Oh, Always you can cool. choose which one you want to flip because they are both active, so you can flip one of them. And is it, so I'm just, de I'm just deactivating. I'm not actually getting rid yes. of it at this point. Okay. Yes. So let's deactivate anger, I think. Let's be a little less minus, angry. Okay. Minus one means always uh, uh, flip to the exhausted side or remove exhausted token yeah this is always the okay choice. oh i see what you're saying because right now everything's active yeah. i only have one yes makes sense yeah okay and now you have to flip that all one. right finding winter home beacons lights uh have guided refugees scattered across the frozen wasteland to our settlement the news they brought are sad and alarming they say no other beacons were lit we must check what has happened at winter home the closest settlement that has that it was still occupied Place X500 on exploration display, and you must finish this expedition until the end of the game, or you lose. All right, so choose uh, A or B, and I'm doing this choosing right now, I assume. Yeah, because, you know, some people came, I placed the card that was... Uh, Called upon there. Written, so this is your expedition the card was talking about, and okay. some people came to your settlement and say, okay... There is no light on the uh, winter home beacon. We should check it. But after they say you this, you can decide to take the refugees or not take them. So you can. I'm gonna probably choose not to take them. It's a little scary. But so minus one hope lets me. De it will be deactivating one of these hope tokens, right? Yeah. Okay. So choose which one? I will take justice and deactivate it. Okay. Yeah, I, think, is, I think I was generous taking people all... last time. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all this card. Uh, we, we can uh, read of it because... Uh, it's kind of like a one-time thing. Done, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, what is important from that card. And okay. After that, something will happen with that scenario. So okay. I, so I just, so, just to be sure, I just have to make sure I complete that uh, expedition by the end of the game. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And probably uh, it's better to complete it a little uh, earlier sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. 
Uh, okay, I read of that uh, that token and now go to morning phase, so uh, morning card from that deck. Another settlement. Day by day, we see a column of smoke on the horizon. Hunters tell that there is a small, poor settlement that is in need of our help. There's so many people that need our help these days. <laughs> what are <laughs> yeah, your orders? You, you have Everyone's quite like crowded. Uh, yeah, it's like they're seeing they're seeing the generator. They're seeing like the smokestack going, and they're like, "All right, we'll uh, come and ask for some help. Uh, we will send them aid as we are stronger and we can spare some resources. Uh, forget about them. Our needs are more important." Shoot. Place this card on the events display and add a card to the dust deck. Only if the beacon is built, you can use this card as an action space. And that action space you have to spend. So that, okay, so this is an interesting one. This top section of another set. I think that's what I'm going to gun for because I don't really want to lose hope at this point because I'd be deactivating either my last one that is active uh, or yeah. ditching a hope token. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So uh, you can you can choose the. I think uh, I might take the top one. one. You can promise them we will check it and <laughs> we will help them. And if yeah. you help them, it will be good. If not, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with a promise. We'll see how that pans out. <laughs> okay, so place it on the display. Okay, exactly. And you have to add D zero twenty four from the dust deck. Okay. To the dust deck. Yeah. You take a look just okay, to double yeah, check. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now generator board. So all right. Generator so. phase here. Yeah. So first you have sickness. Yes, I do. And and as you see, you have to add one sick uh, one sickness citizen okay. of your choice. So if I keep pushing the sick worker up here, uh, when does it get? Uh, when does it turn to a problem state? Now that's on this bad critical side. Uh, truly, this is the uh, problem uh, each round. Uh, but uh, when you, uh, for example, this is uh, oh, crossing that between, barrier between action uh, yes. between sections, and here uh, you see a meeple icon. Mm -hmm. It means uh, that you will uh, have to put a used worker token to your supply right in each preparation phase. So. Uh, when you are here, you will lose one worker uh, in from your workforce. Yikes! Okay, so the question, yeah, that's a good good point. I didn't think about that. Um, this makes it log logical in terms of how far away they are from this token, but when you're talking about the sections, it's different. Yeah, this is still, you know, nine. Sick, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. People. Yeah. So. Oh man. So and I re yeah. Hmm. You have also engineers here. I yeah. could afford to do the engineers, maybe another space. Let's do that. Yeah, they hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing the engineers under the bus. Okay, so all right, so that sickness is the, resolved. Uh, the three tokens. Yes, yeah. yeah, so one of those. Oops, two of those, and three, and the dice rolling fun, right? Exactly. Two. That's two. Only two of them. Getting some decently low rolls. That's not bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you have three. Uh, yes. Okay. Three left. Uh, and now weather card. Uh, new weather card, yeah. And of course, this goes back. So no storm still. Wow, I've been lucky that <laughs> way. That's crazy. I don't... That's okay. really... I'm guessing that's rare. You know, uh, <laughs> like, uh, quite of. I think... Uh, so basically, there's going to be a storm for the rest of the game. Remember that if you have zero here, you yeah. have very, very bad news here, as you see. Oh, I see. It's like one. a flip flop. Okay. So yeah, it's always, always hurting you in one in way. In some or way, another. yeah, it's always on. It's, it's got you by the neck. <laughs> okay. That's true. Okay, and now. All right. So all the tokens. These tokens are still slipping up just by one. Yeah. And then I've got four for food because I still have only the two hunters. Yes. Okay, and then expedition I complete. Yeah, exactly. I make my so, way up. Uh, move, move it here. Uh, yeah, and flip that card. What do we okay. get? Abandoned camp. We have found something. Uh, and then this is saying return or continue. So yeah, I... you always have uh, have choice on that card and if you return you will immediately get two wood to call and this guy uh, come back to your supply ah uh, gotcha if you're not return we put that card here 
and he goes from there he goes further after he ends that card you have the other option get, again yeah you will get oh, okay so that's kind of cool i like that, that. Card, but also they that's uh, really interesting see they are still carrying the two yeah loot and two call yeah so it's like a it's like you want to you know get as much as you possibly can or or get back there with what you have as fast as you can <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm I so, like I would temp I'd be tempted to let him leave him out there for a while, but honestly the coal requirement being what it is, it might yeah, be a good idea to bring you, him back. If you send him further when he come back, uh, nobody's there. So. No one's there, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I think I will just bring him back. So I'll just grab so I just grab two coal and throw it in my reserve now, right? Just for and the what is the other thing I got? Two wood as well? Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's not bad. I mean that'll give me something to work with to start. Yeah, next it's, sounds uh, good. Expedition are quite uh, quite nice. So we flip that card. This guy goes back to you, and Perfect. we put the uh, next card. But when you start it, you have to start from the first space. So you know uh, the way is always oh, interesting. longer. If you continue, it will be faster. Okay. And that um, was uh, it now to preparation phase. So to your. Sick oh yes, the old sick tokens. Yes, it will so. hard. It will hit hard, I think. Yes. Ouch. St always start from the uh, furthest one out. Is, uh, Most sick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it means you have to flip it. Which means so, someone is going to die. Yeah, someone <laughs> dies and move one space. So, okay. Yeah, All right. And, and flip. Yes, that's true. It's not on that critical Someone side dies. anymore. That okay. means you have to reduce. And yeah. of course, you have to draw a body token, uh, corpse token, sorry, from, from here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what is on the other side of that token. Uh, the number, uh, number below means what happened when the child dies. The oh, number, uh, oh number that's, from, that's the, right. That number is uh, because... Uh, the regular adult. Or, yeah. So you have minus one hope for that. Oh, so that means I'm either inactivating motivation or I'm ditching justice. I am thinking it better to deactivate it than to ditch the token okay. at this point. So let's go to the uh, second sick token because you will okay, see so another, second death. One is... another death. Yeah, so sorry, this one's, yeah, so flipping a move, right? Yes. And this and, uh, means uh, one engineer. Goodbye, dies. Mr. Engineer. <laughs> and again, one corpse token. Ooh, this isn't fun. Uh, oh, and yeah, there's another hit. One hope, yeah. Okay, so now we're getting there. So I think this is where I'll say justice is going to go away. I'm happy with motivation. I want to keep some motivation seeing as we're yeah, on I last think, legs. I, motivation <laughs> is, uh, I don't feel like what, justice would be the last thing you'd want. <laughs> okay. That's true. And the child. Okay, so same thing. Flip it over. No yeah, death there, but closer. To, yes, yeah, thank goodness. Nobody dies. Okay, because, uh, it will Ooh, be probably what yeah. a round. Check the check the numbers, the uh, meeples and numbers here. So I've... we didn't cross any barriers, right? So I think we're yes. okay, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. You, Perfect. You have ten meeples, uh, three, three, and four. Awesome. And by awesome, I mean horrible because of all those deaths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now it's action phase. So I've got two. Yeah, let's just suspend the one. I think yes. you're right. Let's do that. And yes. then we'll use our... we we'll use our... Uh, look like this. Mm -hmm. Spend a coal <laughs> to get two coal. <laughs> yeah, but this is exactly what you need, so... It is. It is. It works. Um, and then... Uh, what I yeah, and then I could now I could I'll take all of these. Okay, so the orange buildings are good, and anything in the inner circle. So basically, uh, the inner circle. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically inner circle because orange yeah, because I only buildings. have orange. Yeah, <laughs> one more. To that. Excellent. Okay, so um, I could go after this coal. I could to give me the option to go elsewhere. Yes. Safely, but I could use a child, for instance. Yes, because this is heated place. So let's do that. We'll use that coal, bump this yeah. up. And get her... now, and now, all uh, orange buildings and all buildings in the second circle are heated. And are orange available. building you have here, remember? Yes. So that is good to go now. So let's. And that one doesn't require an engineer. It's just a regular. Anyone can do that. Yes. Like a worker could do that. 
So let's take you a worker. You have also the child worker, and it works exactly like any worker. Oh, nice. And this one, immediately when I put a worker there, gives me three wood, and then three trees disappear? Is that kind of how that works? Uh, one tree one tree disappears, and it gives you free wood, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's a pretty yeah. good conversion rate. I did not realize it was that good. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's it's, it's even better. Good. Wow, okay. Um... Yep, that's that's definitely helps on the building side of things later. Okay, let's let's do the build action for sure. So three actions for building. Let's do the workshop first because I know I need that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a steam core in order to get that going. No, only wood steam core is to when you activate that building when you right. Close. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so one wood gone. So oh, you put it there. Okay, yeah. Method. Yeah. So that's there, and I'm happy to put them the outskirts because it's yeah. red is easy to heat. It can be yeah. Deadly. Let's do the gathering post first costs only one or sorry not gathering post yeah. <laughs> wrong tile um uh -huh. i meant to grab the sawmill let's do the sawmill okay keeps flipping on me because i'm putting it in the player um let's put this where's the trees most trees probably here let's go with that mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's one action still one action still one action left and this is where i think i'm going to do the hunter's hut and place it somewhere close by like here yeah. that one cost me one? one one okay all right that's not bad yeah all right good. so now i need to use that um sawmill mm -hmm. so i'll use the child worker yeah. yeah and get rid of one of these mm -hmm. give myself three more wood Yep. And now I got options. So I'm I'm kind of building my way slowly back up to getting that coal mine. So let's do a worker in this hunter's hut, a worker in this hunter's hut. And we'll do ten to we'll do ten to start. I might even do another one after that, because we're gonna need Well, I've matched my hunger to... level. Yeah, so and this, then I got the children. Will be, will be no punishment uh, this round, but you will have to fit. That's children. true. So maybe I'll do one more. I'll put the engineer for this mm -hmm. one. Give myself another five. Man, I could be yeah. crazy and, and fill them all. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, you are not bad uh, when we talk about food. It's it's and quite good. So getting some, I could also clear some more area. Yeah, of course. And one more thing: after building a workshop, uh, you see another card here. So the one more. Oh, nice uh, technology that is uh, available for using one of your building actions. You can place a shelter with a better one for two wood, ten to bunkers, bunkers to. Oh, wow. Yeah, because normally, of course, you have to destroy tent if you want to place a bunkhouse on the same place. So this is two action and uh, uh, a bit of wood. This lets you do this faster. It's not a problem for you now because uh, uh, it's a problem after the storm hits right. your settlement. Yes. Because first storm, uh, you know, uh, uh, making your tents not enough. So they stop working and you need bank houses and after the second storm your bank houses stop working and you need houses that's true i'm gonna i'm gonna send so this one would take one two it'll be one two three four to get there uh, but i also need to do this so yes. let's focus on that bye bye engineer <laughs> um okay one so i think for now i'm gonna risk it and unlock it well, I can, so I don't have to delay any further. No, you don't have to pay Steam Core not yet? for okay. unlocking. Okay. Uh, not for unlocking, only if you want to upgrade Oh, that's it. right, sorry. So I can now unlocking come down here and... You can choose one of them. Right, so this one can disappear. Yeah, and put okay. that one in any of the technology you have here. And this technology start working, so... Ah, when you use Sama, you can destroy... Oh my, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That could be exactly uh, what second, I need to actually get it. Yeah, if phase. you know, you know, if you read uh, to get the to get the coal, one, 
you can, you know you can put all your effort to build sawmills and use that technology. This is pretty good too, though. That's true. Oh man, they're all Surely really good. You have, you have uh, it, good ones. Yeah, I think I have. So next time when I put workers down at my mills, I'm going to be able to get six, which is more than enough to get me the coal mine. So maybe I don't grab this one and I go for the hunting one just to stop myself. I have to put so many meeples mm-hmm. on hunting shelters. Okay. Yeah, let's this do is, that. This is two food more each round for you now. So okay. Quite nice. And um, the child, I guess I'll just put the child probably in a coal, just a spot to grab some coal for next turn or something. Yeah clear something up so maybe actually even near these trees just to clear up that area oh, you know what based can, on how bad yeah. my hope is right now i might change my mind on that i might actually use this yeah. right now you can like, send you can send i'm gonna that. do it because my hope is terrible right now okay um so, so let's bump plus one hope that up yeah let's get another another one in here there we go okay and i don't think i shuffled it so it pulled the same one that i put in is that uh, yeah yeah you should, i don't uh, probably should have shuffled it <laughs> yeah in the real now world that wouldn't be a problem yeah, but now in, it's there we go yeah. yeah as you see this is scary there okay. we go yeah that keeps me oh, a little is... just gives me a little bit extra hope just to kind of hopefully survive <laughs> that's true uh so this was the uh action phase yep. and now you're going to the dust phase here dust phase okay what we got have you helped them survive? This is the group that was uh, looking yeah, for help. You, yeah, you promised people to help. Yeah, I know, didn't do such a good job. And, uh, yeah. I remember promises were broken, I think. <laughs> so our help was efficient. We refused to help them. So really, we're going to number two here. <laughs> uh, yes, yes that, that should be number two, not to be. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I get it. So we refuse to help them and let their settlement fail. So we gain some greed. Um, is that that's got to be a uh, a top yeah, level? Gaining greed means uh, you draw one token from the back, okay. and after that you check if any inactive tokens are greed. Then they there just become no, active. That's that's all. I really like that mechanic. That. That's a really smart way to do it. I I I, I enjoy yes, that. We are looking Makes sense. something between you know plus one and plus two. Something. Yeah, uh, it's a bit more exciting though than just pulling a straight token, right? So it's it adds another element and it makes thematic sense too that you'd be if you had greed kind of in you already, it would become even more amplified, right? By what yeah, you what you chose was, to do. This was the path we Oops. we go. Okay, and what we have. Uh, Remove the uh, uh, 0, 012, so that yes, card. Yes, this card's gone. Because, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't help them. We don't uh, need to remind it, <laughs> the remind it uh, to you. And you need to add the 0, 025 card to the dance. Card. Okay, so now you are going to hunger phase. All right. This is my favorite phase. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad. It's, it's not really... so bad because I did pretty good this time getting... A yeah. decent amount of food, but nobody die because of lack of food. So, so this 14. is not your so down your to big five yeah. and zero. And we're and on engineers. You should, I think no, let's or let's no. check uh, on the round marker. You have oh, that's below right. that yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's the children. Okay. So that's not you're right, it's not too too bad. So I have to do ten, but I only have five. So we yeah, just go like that. So bad you will get some passive food in the yeah. weather phase. So yeah. Not bad. And now night phase. All right. So Everyone, everyone's coming home. There. Yeah. 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 I think there's one straggler I couldn't to get a shelter for in time. Okay. So that's what we're doing right now is the uh the shelter piece. So yes, exactly. let's see. You have what... eight places and you have nine meeples. Uh... Yeah, the sick this the, the, the child thing is getting pretty close together. That's scary, and so is the engineer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. this is getting rough um here you are in the new this, section this so, makes yeah. the most sense at this point yeah probably yes. i agree okay so this was the night phase and we are in round five let's see if you can make this round yes let's <laughs> because it it will be hard uh, i think but let's see uh morning phase so here okay we got a vision in the night. One of the citizens approached and said her daughter had a dreamlike vision last night. It was about a group of survivors in a cave. She recognized the place. It's rather close to her city. The mother insisted that the daughter is sure enough about her vision. She could show us the way. 
what should we do? Promise that we'll go on an expedition. Uh, we can add one to the display to do that. Um, we also add a card to the dust deck. That's interesting. Ties into it, I'm assuming. And then we can ignore her as well. Hmm. I don't mind having somebody go on an expedition. I have a lot of people, and one less would actually be a positive based on my shelters. <laughs> I think, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, let's do it. You, let's do it. You probably need to upgrade the beacon to send the second expedition, but you can do it because, yeah, that's uh, true. That's true. Yeah, so, so, I, so I, I can place the vision cave. Okay, uh, and does this card come in the display now? Is that the idea? Uh, no, if you see that uh, that mark, the oh, yes, uh, X on the card, it means that uh, this card is discarded, but you should add D023 to your dust deck. Yep, and Added to the last deck. Okay, so Perfect. now generator phase. Yes, yes. Oh, it start. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> start growing. Okay, first uh, sickness is okay because yeah. there's no icons here. Icons are on Thank the goodness. same level or under. Yes. Next one, adding the malfunction cubes. So one, two, three, and I missed <laughs> I missed the bag yeah, two times. Yeah, yeah. Roll some and dice. Let's see. Hey, it looks like we're bad. pulling two Only no matter two. what. But now you have five cubes in generator and only yeah. three spaces here, so uh, it's quite uh, quite close. It's getting up there. Uh, the first the first malfunction is not very uh, serious. The second one is problematic. Hey, yeah, a storm! Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it finally happened. So, uh, move the token one space uh, backward. Yeah. Okay, and it's coming when this towards token me thematically. To your round marker, it means storms hits. I like that. Map. That's also really cool. I like how that ties in. And now, good, uh, good, or maybe a little better news. Than, hey, uh, this is interesting. Before. Only two high. Only these two. Move. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. So, I'm... as you see, there is a gap that will be uh, growing here. And this means that, okay, uh, hitting orange buildings, it's, uh, it's cheaper than hitting all the second circle, yeah? Because you hit orange building when it's one space Right, up. right. This is true. And now let's check the food, because it's, it's not bad for you. I've got three hundred shots now. Yeah, so this means five oh, and food for this and two food for this. So seven total? That's pretty, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Not bad. It's more than from one hunter. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> and um, expedition. Wow, four. That's yeah. that's a lot more than I was expecting. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, probably next round we'll yeah. find what's happening in Winterhome. Okay, awesome. and now preparation phase. So six uh, tokens. Your fa favorite uh, phase. Yeah, this okay. one. Uh oh. This <laughs> one. This means uh, you have to put used worker token to your supply because okay. you have so many sick workers that some of them can. And just put one on top right now, right? Yeah, you can put it. Uh, right just to now. remind myself. Okay. After that, flip. Flip and this move. thing. Chuck it there. This one's a flip and move. Yes. And this is a death and move. <laughs> and the death of, of a child. And so. it's really going to be bad because of the child factor. Yeah. yeah. This is not going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, there so, it is. this is the end. That is the <laughs> end. That lost... kills right yeah. off. <laughs> My hope is gone, and it was the children you that lost... did me in. Yeah, this yep. was the... Uh the dev that uh, oh, i was like i was thinking I, I thought in the back of my mind i'm like i'm either gonna just barely make it through this that check right there or or i'm and have a chance to go through one more round or this is gonna be the last round this was only the one for now we have four starting cards um, right i can show you them uh and as you see each card gives you totally different starting uh, conditions uh, you use that card with a lot of fruit Nobody sick, but not very, uh, not a lot of people. But for example, you can start with something like this, uh, where you have uh, less food, 
That's, yeah. Lots of people, but some <laughs> of them are sick from the start, and that's not good. And that's not, not easy. good. No. Uh, so each card also gives you uh, different uh, different strategies, and we will um, we will change. Uh, uh, difficulty level using that card so you will use uh, probably one uh, of two decks the red deck which is what you are playing so the hard one and uh, maybe a little easier one uh, the green deck. i think this does present like numerous different strategies as how you could possibly tackle this thing and then of course at the same time wrenches are being thrown at you all the time and you have to keep mitigating them and that's what keeps it fun um because yeah, even though you, you had like i went into soul strategy yeah you see well, that, yeah. Uh, after yeah. a couple of rounds and uh, yeah yeah and i wanted to get to the coal like yes. the coal was an option i knew that like for the future the coal would have been you know useful that because i was able to get a lot of wood but coal was was my weak point at a certain point there that's true that's true i think the coal and uh healing people that that was two things that uh brings you to the uh, to this uh lose but i can't wait for this thing to land on kickstarter it's gonna be exciting it's just gonna be good it uh i really i think the design is really and the cool the coolest thing about this one for me is that playing this game against anything i've played previously there's nothing like it like i haven't played i've played worker placement games uh, a number of them and of course worker placement games there's tons of those right that's true. but but this having the survival element to it is something that's not done very often and usually worker placement in thematic and um story driven narrative anything doesn't really happen that often so i think and on top of this you're obviously basing it off the video game so um yeah that's, but but that that's was quite obvious to look yeah, exactly. uh, around <laughs> around worker placement or something yeah. like this yeah i think the the soul the, the flow of this playing solo though i think is going to be uh just based on what i'm playing here and stuff like that is it feels natural like once you go through a number of rounds you just you pick it up like you, you just know where to look you know what to do and you know what each area is for and stuff like that um and this one we didn't touch on, i didn't get over to this section over here where we talked about like uh some extra buildings that you can build out in the future and things like that. But yeah, this is this is connected with uh, two laws. You have fate and order. Uh, this is the pair. It's always uh, always here. And when you introduce that uh, law, uh, first of all, it activates all your hope or exhaust all your discontent so you can wait for the good moment to do that. Right. And after that, they are unlocking all uh all buildings f- from one or other other board so yeah there are uh, there's more to discover buildings. yeah yeah <laughs> but these tokens for the corpse is like uh is it always a minus one minus two because i i was i like i mean it landed like that for me right but oh no, okay there, there is, is differences there oh is, okay, uh, okay. there is the different uh, so you can you can kind of luck out okay that's that's yeah. good to know i just but got i got is... lucky and got three of these in a row <laughs> Yeah, but uh, there lot of them are. Uh, it's not fifty fifty. It's right, uh, right. like uh, okay. three to seven, something like this. Very uh, cool. So... Very cool. So the saddest thing, I guess, is that the engineer that went on the expedition to uh, to Winterholm will never come back to a civilization ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's... if you want, you can uh, you can check what is here. Uh, it's. Mm, uh, when people get there, it's uh, not very fun for them. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Great, great uh, things you will find. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's uh, nuts. 10 foot. That's, oh, man, that's a great. lot. But, but you have to you gotta turn, make it. You have to turn that card after that. And, right. Uh, and that's yeah, going to introduce. It, turn it and uh, read what. <laughs> What oh there we go <laughs> you have to build a ventilation plant until the end of the game or you lose right because your generator is breaking down it would cost four wood and one steam core and has to be placed on one of the space around oh so you got to dismantle a couple buildings to even uh, probably yes probably potentially yes. yeah i guess yeah. yeah 
Uh, starting from round 10, you can put coal into the generator only if there's an engineer in the ventilation plant. Wow. So that's it's really getting restrictive because your engineer is working on that thing around yeah, the clock. Yeah, so uh, each round, one yeah. engineer is... And you truly, at the end of this game, you need lots of engineers because they're <laughs> trying to uh, cure your people and do... Uh, do other stuff like uh, repairing generator uh, or in addition all you have ventilation plant it's wild that's yeah. that's crazy it does look like a blast and i think i do think that as a solo game in um it's gonna be it's gonna be extremely popular like there's definitely i'm extremely interested to see the final product of this thing now you know we we will have we are working now for uh other scenarios like in video games uh mm-hmm. Total, totally different uh, uh, different cards here and different setups. So there will be uh, a couple of, uh, of new things, for example, in one scenario. Probably the, this style, big with generator, will be uh, moved one space down or one space up. Oh, interesting. So you, okay, so it it's kind of like off-centered. Ha- yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and cool. There will be some part that is very, very hard to uh, hit because it's longer way. That's awesome. Thank you so much again for uh, for showing me this, and I'm excited for the Kickstarter. And that, my friends, is going to conclude a full solo playthrough for this Kickstarter preview of Frostpunk the board game coming from Glass Cannon Unplugged, and it's landing on Kickstarter October 6th. So for those of you that are interested in finding out even more information beyond this video, that is going to be the time frame to wait for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this helps you make an informed decision on that upcoming Kickstarter. And as always, keep on rolling solo.